the project for today is um, I'm, I'm, I'm building a I'm building a fixture a jig to um, well let's just get her done uh, no need to explain it well maybe they are it'll have two it'll have a footprint on that side a footprint on this side two movable plates here hold four holes drilled in that a multitude of holes down through here so so this can move to and fro this will be here with an support going up here this will be on top with two rollers on it so let's get on with that and uh, these these here do need to match so the best way to do that is just clamp them together all the wonders of a four inch grinder the, you clamp these together where they're true on the bottom and then they, these have been, been pre-notched on the corners and I just want to I want a pleasing profile there. That's the way you do that. Okay, we got our uh, everything cut to size. Just kind of uh, you know a mock-up of what we're making, and and it's uh, that goes there, that goes up there. This will be evened up here, welded, and two holes drilled, and the series of holes down here. And well, I will drill this before I weld it all together. The hose to mount it there, support, and then this right here will go here, this one will go here, this one will, it will be, this one will be right in that area there, lined up true and centered up, and then this will be the support for that. That'll go right there, and then this little long piece will be right on top of that for the two rollers. The height of this amount right here is uh, if it if I ever need more more depth like this right here would be ample enough for a 24 inch wheel but if I was going for a 26 or 30 then I will drill two more holes in this before I weld it up in right in this right here and here here and here and that way I can later on if I want to modify it I can make a sliding mechanism like right here that will go up and down but that's where we're at now the uh, just an update let's uh, get some holes drilled and then we'll weld her together Let's drill one more. Let's go on to something else now. The quarter inch thick plates, I did stack them together, drilling through a half inch. You got that marked out there, got the table locked in both axes. Let's uh, drill this last hole in these two plates.
Okay, let's see how we did. The two plates I sandwiched together and drilled using the laser center finder. Bringing them out, we got two sandwiched together. That's the way they were drilled. And if you drop the bolt holes in here, and it's a pretty it's a pretty good fit on those hole on those bolts. And if you just kind of feel all the way around just to the touch and verify that all of the edges are straight without using any measuring tools and they're free to fall in there. It's a good fit. No, the, the, the problem, what happens is when you turn this plate around, I'll show you something. One, two, three, four. Okay, to verify that those holes are in square to the piece of metal, then what you do is you pick up this top one and turn it completely around and drop it back down on there, line it up, and the bolts, if they don't fall right in the holes like they did the other way, then you've got one of them off, and those fell right in, fill, fill the line, it's, it's true to the touch. The holes are equal to the other. So these plates right here, any any you could move them to any position and they would fit. Um, you know, it's just an old grizzly milling machine. We're getting her done here on the east coast of Arkansas. The next step in uh, and this right here, this uh, Hobart handler. Uh, that's a good little welder. It would be on my list of uh, favorite tools. That's a good little thing. Let's weld one up.